have started a thing with a girl with which we have certain common social circles. I have had a relationship with one of her closest friends for like seven years. So wait, wait closest uh, or closest? So what I understand, like closest. But like, I have had a relationship with one of her closest friends for. So I'm assuming they're broken up now. Oh. They were together for seven years, but now they're broken up. Okay, and she has concerns that should any of her social environment will find out, there will be a black backlash against her. So can you please explain, are these sort of informal taboos on dating relationships within the friend, uh, e.g. dating a former partner of your friend's circles, that common? And why do they exist? Boy. You wanna start? <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay, um, so it really depends whether your social circle or not is like mature or not. That's right? what I was gonna say. Yeah, because I mean, if there are people that are just like desperate to gossip about other people and are just, you know, like bored or whatever, of course they will find a reason yeah. to. And I'd like to think that these are the sort of toxic people you are not hanging around with. Well, precisely. Do they care about your happiness or do they not? Yeah. Um, informal... Yeah, so these taboos are very, very common. So I kind of see it both two ways. As in, like, obviously within like the leftists and our community, definitely everyone talks about everyone. Everyone, it's just fucking. Everyone slept with everyone. As well. It's so incestuous. It's crazy. But anyways, yes. So that's definitely a thing. But I also think of like you know the sort of like children housewives, the kind of like you know, this not even suburban, but like you know the the wives of like the upper class people sort of like you hear sometimes of the inner circle of like Kate Middleton and all of that oh, stuff. Wait, what's the one that's you all use it? The one? Sloan. 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 And that's what we see from our room. From Sloan Square in Kensington. Very posh. Oh. But uh whether you also uh well it's also like you know, they're rich enough mm -hmm. to just like there's not well to be fair anarcho often. And then we can now like shag on the like grand piano or we'll shag in the like squat toilet. Don't do that. I don't. I don't. I don't think I've ever done that. Don't. Don't. Never done that. Never done that. Like I know I pretend to be all like really, really punk, but actually, like that. Like no. That will. That you know my greatest like thing it. that I ever did. It wasn't like sex. It's not a sex thing, but it's like the darkest thing I ever did. So I was in um Berlin, the very cool, uh, Greek party place. Greek uh, Berlin party place. <laughs> but it's a like Greek because Greek is where cool things happen. I don't know. <laughs> um, and I was in the toilet. And I realized I had gum in my hair. And the other in the toilet is this like this like famously skanky nightclub in Berlin. And I found this gum in my hair. And so I picked a bit of glass off the toilet floor to cut this gum out of my Lynch. hair. And I cut my finger mm -hmm. on this toilet floor glass. And so I went to the bar and got a, a vodka shot and spent the whole night with my finger. Oh. <laughs> so don't do that. Don't be that guy. That's like, what's the question? <laughs> So I like, so like, like, can't necessarily reassure you, they're like, oh, nobody cares. Actually, it's just about your happiness and your friends will like, no, definitely will be down like for crazy. Oh god, no, prepare, prepare, yeah. prepare. There's probably going to be, everyone's going to be at you. So sorry, we can't necessarily give a, um, a reassuring uh, answer. They'll be friends to your face, probably. <laughs> However, I've been lucky enough to have been, to kind of gotten away with that as such, where um, been in a very, very loving long term relationship with someone that I hugely respect, and um, happens to be that after things don't work out with us, someone very close to them became very close to me after a while, and yes, there was tension at first, very, very tame tension. But you know, then we just had adult conversations. And really what I mean by adult conversations is literally meeting up two on two. All three of us had two on two conversations about this. Um, tricky, intense conversations uh, in parks um, where we were able to establish um, the sequence of events and the fact that no one's to do with anyone as such and understanding boundaries and what's okay to do and not okay to do going forward and those adult conversations are also very much possible and obviously you you know i suppose depends on the relationship with the ex right yeah well that but also it depends on whether the ex i guess is like mature enough to yeah, also understand really, yeah. that 
you know, whether, what are the other people going to think about it, right? But this is the thing, like, in your situation, none of the fucking social scenario played a part. It was just between the three of you. And, like, respecting an ex's right to feel awkward about you dating one of their friends is a legitimate thing, and you should definitely do that. Yes. Yes. You and need to take that into consideration. Whereas, like, the broader friendship group are going to be arsy. If they're a friendship group, they shouldn't be. They should understand the agreement between you, the partner, and the ex. And accept that they shouldn't be taking sides and being bitchy or whatever the fuck you're saying. But I can see, for instance, like I, I have so much love and respect for the way like that the ex dealt with it in a sense of like they refuse to care about what people around us will think about this yeah, sort of change of events and such because they knew, hopefully in their hearts, that the the, the sequencing was very you know, separate as such that it and and. And uh, one had nothing yeah. to do with the other. Cheating. No, right. no, and that um, was not like getting back at someone, sort of thing, you mm. know. Um, but like people will want to be dramery. But the coolest thing is if you and like the former partner and the current partner can be like, yeah, there's no drama. What are you doing? And you shame yeah. them for trying to create a situation out of what is not yeah, a situation. Yeah, that's so fucking sad. If anyone does yeah. that, like that's the most pathetic thing that anyone yeah. can do. Can be so like involved in other people's lives because they're probably their own life is so fucking pathetic mm. that they decide to create drama about other people's lives like fuck them mm -hmm. yeah it's really not to do with anyone else and if they're being assholes they're assholes yeah they might actually just be assholes mm. like friends or friends or friends or friends like get rid of them basically you're in the wrong circles if they're treating it like that yeah. so i guess the answer to this is like yes drama will probably occur occur like it just does it's really down to like the, the current partners and the ex partners yeah. to have mature conversations about this, and hopefully they can root out the dickheads that are creating the yeah. upheaval around this. Yeah, the only person that has a right to feel weird about it is the ex partner. They don't have a right to like veto, but they have a right to feel weird. They just do. Yeah, 100%. and that is the only person who you should try and be like legitimately decent to and make them feel as comfortable as possible, yes. whilst making it clear that this situation is not going to go away, but you want them to be as comfortable as possible with it existing yeah and also really look at their signals as to what they're okay with or not yeah know? even if they say you know what, like give me time if it's okay um you know these are my friends for a while you know hopefully you'll mesh at some point but like let me keep those yeah. you know or kind like don't be cuddly to... in front of me like yeah you know, basic decency stuff yeah yeah that's down to them to establish those yeah. um i guess but boundaries. for you to listen to those boundaries and respect them unless they're unreasonable like don't even look at her when we're in the same room or something. You know? yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. The other thing I would say is um, regarding it being a social convention, I think it's only a social convention if it's in terms of time. Like, if I broke up with Mariam and immediately slept with Mariam's best friend, that would be kind of bad form. If I broke up with Mariam and then six months later sleep with Mariam's best friend and talk Mariam about it, like, you know, the conventions I think. Maybe there are societal conventions that we're not aware of because we're like you know, cool liberated and not good, but I just remembered another instance. Oh my god. Uh, one of my closest friends uh, decided to. Uh, fuck it. Fuck it. Decided to like have a huge crush on one of, m one of my exes and then decided, and but my ex wasn't like that into them. And then, one of my closest friends decided that I actually made my ex not mm. to be into them and then never spoke to me, nothing like that, went to a completely different social circle that was kind of part of my social circle and turned a lot of them kind of against me as this, like, I don't know, but I think they wanted to. But anyways, that's why like, including the this, like, fucking vital. bitch. And that hurt me. Yeah. I have never spoken to that person again. It still hurts. And... Yeah. yeah, so that's the wrong way of doing that. You have to, like, you know, you take the oh next part God, out Oh why did you do that? If you're watching this right now, I miss you. Why did you do that? That was so fucking dumb. That really hurt me, by the way. This has been years ago now, but that really fucking hurt me. So, mm -hmm. I would have been nice. I would have fucking got it. Yeah. Ugh. Just communicate with all the people that might be hurt. That's the only way of dealing with it. There was nothing wrong with falling with someone else in your friendship circle. It happened yes. your friend for a reason. But there is something wrong with not taking people's feelings into account and being having a bit of a leeway about how they might deal with it. Like that's it. So yeah, I guess I get I guess I've been on both sides of this. Yeah. I mean I was thinking I was kind of also like a while ago the male person in that in not friendship sense, but in the like say work sense. 
of like not leaving enough time and not communicating properly. Gotcha. Yeah. So like I also made the mistake of not communicating pro- properly, and it turned out not that badly actually because the fact people involved were very fucking nice, but that it could have been like I was a massive dick and should have communicated way better what was going on. So you know, we all fuck up, but like don't if like to the best of your ability try and make the all the people that could potentially be hurt feel just like they're taken care of yeah and i know talking to your ex about a new partner is super fucking awkward but it's also way better than hearing about it from someone else and way better than them spreading like some kind of gossip streak or whatever and if your friends are like being weird and petty then they're not good friends yeah yeah i mean i'm fine i'm like it's fine to have like some friends like you know like your ex is like okay these friends are my friends and it's like whenever that happens but yeah it's not fine to spread rumours and gossip and stuff and fuck social conventions like the social convention is be kind to people and if they're not fulfilling that then they're not fulfilling social fucking convention what I find really fascinating oh it happened is it that, happened is that a special oh, pillow? that's your phone by the way I mean I'll deal with it it happened wine got spilled it happened ah! <laughs> that's all we can say all that matters is how you deal with it uh I found this in a squat so I'm like fine with it Okay. Wait, was a, so it wasn't cool. a squat, we both in it, it was a house. It's a very nice pillow. Like, yeah, yeah, I should probably take care of this at some point. We'll put salt on it. Yeah. Do, uh, you oh, know where I spilled loads of wine under your chair? Well, you did it straight away, that's the yeah, thing. Yeah, but it's just... like, actually, like, just, have you felt the ground there? No. Because you don't smoke out the window, but um, it's like crispy with like dried salt, it's super gross. Do I you think I need something. to do with this now? Do you have water? Yes. Put some water on it. Okay, okay. You see, it's just like, it's not classy, you see what's happening. I mean, it is classy. We have wine and pillows. Can see my sense drawer? I said water. No, I'll get that as well, but I'm doing it for the hands. Oh. Um, maybe a little before this. But uh, also, um... Uh, what, the last thing that I was gonna say... times um it's actually coming up real good okay but is it on the wet side now? yeah it is it was it got pink and then it got wet again because of the water okay i mean it was on a lot no it was fine it would be like a tiny uh darker patch but it's actually it's, fine. It's, that's actually fine no actually i can't see anywhere tiny bit pink there that's it but yeah, we would not even notice that with us. Okay, well, right, the, 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 just the last thing I was going to say is that what I find fascinating is that a lot of the time we get questions that are to do with more like, you know, the broadening of sexual empowerment and, and gender relations and, you know, some like fairly like new age stuff. But this is such a like retro question. This is the sort of thing that has been happening through centuries. Yeah. And, and also what's interesting is that it seems like now that we're above it, like, this is such an old-fashioned thing, social convention, so. but actually, we still do it. Everyone still gossips and bitches and moans about who's dating who, and can you believe it? They just broke up with them last week. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Scandalous. <laughs> you know, like, we still... But, yeah, but that's, a, yeah, again, that's such a, like, basic agony on question or whatever, mm-hmm. just in general, like, a very basic concept as such, and yet we're tackling it. It's still, it's still real. Yeah. Oh, look, I also got one of mine. Should I, get, I do that? Should I, okay. No, it's fine. This is very old. No, no. <laughs> Look, no. I'm not gonna rub it into my trousers because they're no, red. No, let's do the same operation. No, because I'm gonna get wet. I don't wanna get wet. Wait, it's just the wet wet. Look, look, look. No. It's done, it's done, it's done. Just that, just like that, and you can throw it somewhere. Mm, the wet white is so really good. I'm just really hoping no one's seeing my bits. That, 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 I'm not hated. No, no, those bits. Oh, your drawer, I think, and your bits. No, other, other bits. Dim is 